first time here? It's my very first time here, oh, cool. and I've heard nothing but good things. Where are you from originally? Uh, originally from Texas, okay. but I live in Oklahoma. Oh, okay, okay. Southern girl. Huh? Definitely. Yeah. I'm a cowgirl. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're doing a expo appearance here in Turku. Yeah, I'm doing Turku sets tomorrow and Saturday. It's going to be fun. I, I'm like really looking forward to like how the convention is here. Yeah. Different than it is, you know, for like the Avian in Vegas. Because yeah. any convention I've been to, any di it's different, everyone. Yeah. So I'm like so You do curious. a lot of these? I do. Actually, you know, I've, I've done so many appearances and conventions lately. I feel like that's all I do. <laughs> that or photo shoots more oh, yeah? than anything else. Yeah. So they're actually a huge part of your job now. It is, you know. Um, I mean, guess it's really keeping your name out there and also branding yourself to more people in different countries who might not know you yet. You might not be as big there, but they always ask me to come. So it's people asking me to come to those places. So I have a fan base there and everything, but then I just keep them updated what I'm doing and just meeting, really meeting the people. You know, it's all about meeting your fans. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's all about who, the fans, I guess. That's yeah. who makes you. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to travel the world. And I'd always say that, oh, I'm gonna travel the world. Like I even have my like my mom's old films where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go here and there. And um, I never got to think, you know, that I actually would. And I mean, I've been to quite a few places. I mean, there's a lot more I want to see, but man, I've been, to yeah. a lot of places. I met the coolest people, get to go to some of the coolest parties, clubs, just get to see how pretty or different all the these different countries are, you know, and how the different cultures, what they do, what they eat, like how they live. I mean, the eating thing's a problem for me because I'm a picky eater. Yeah. So half the time, I'm like... Oh, yeah, you're from Texas, that's yeah. true. Yeah, so half the time, I'm like, mm-mm, I'm not trying that, mm, -mm. Yeah. What kind of fans do you have? I have a variety of people. I can't even say that I have one type of fan, but what I can tell you, which is definitely interesting, is I have a lot more girl fans than I think oh, guy do? fans. Yeah. Again, yeah. I'm not a bitch, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm not like this mean girl that comes off and you can't say hi to me. You know, there's a lot of girls in my industry that are stuck up and are mean or people are, and they're fans, so I want, they, they want to meet them. In fact, you lose fans that yeah, way. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And I, I'm not, I'm just so, I'm so loud and bubbly and over the top and I'll act like a nerd. I guess you have to be in your... your you do. In, in and like your... if people, and I can tell when I have long lines of people are bored, I'll run and run up the line and just be like, Wah! and like scream to like cheer them up and just to like do it or I'll sit there and stare at people and I'll make a funny face and I yeah. don't care and they're like, what's wrong with you? I have like the coolest fans. Like I have, I have such fun fans. They're like, let's go, let's do shots. I'm like, all right, Let's do it, you know, you want to go do a show. All right, let's do this, you know. Are you a businesswoman? Is this Very I mean, businesswoman. Yeah. Coming into the porn industry, eventually, even if you didn't have a no name, somebody's going to see you and that's going to ruin you trying to do anything else if you decided you don't like porn. So I was like, I'm coming in, and I'm coming in big, and I'm going to be known, and you're going to know, and that's how I'm going to make my living. And now you're in Finland. And now I'm in Finland. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> if you had DVD sales around, you would be making more money because you would actually have to physically go buy it yeah. than try to download it or get it on the internet. Obviously, everybody's finding different ways to figure it out, but nobody's making as much money as they used to. Yeah. Like The thing is, is the way the economy is, why buy it when you can get it for free? I get it, and I get the, how the economy works, but the internet's definitely hurt a lot of businesses, yeah. especially in any entertainment field. This porn, it's a, is it a women's business? Performance-wise, women make more than men. Uh, otherwise, no, because men run the companies that yeah, screw do. the girls. Yeah, they still do? That screw the oh, girls, okay. make millions. It's a multi-billion dollar company, and the girls are making maybe 5000 a scene. Oh, okay. Now, guys making scenes get anywhere from 300 to $1,100, and girls get anywhere from, well, heck, you can get anybody now. Any girl's willing to do it to be a star for like 1000 bucks. I guess so. Some of them do for free. You can go to like work in different countries where girls are hurting for money, and this is what a lot of people do. Like they go to the Europe and like in some really poor countries, where they go to Brazil and, and Russia, where they can have a girl and have sex with them and have so many people have sex with them for fifty bucks a day. I don't work with a lot of people. I've worked with a very small handful of guys. I've worked with several girls, 
but a small handful of guys. I want a great job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it, it's a thing. Like, I like to sleep with girls more than yeah. I like. I mean, I like Me guys. Too. I'm not a lesbian, but on, on film, I, I love more girls. But the same guys, I want the same. I need to have the chemistry with you. Sure. I've, like, tried to where they've had me work with a new guy. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, they're cute and everything. And they've been so bad. And I'm very expressionless. And I will let you know. And I'm just like this. I'm known for my scenes for being crazy and all over the place and getting messed up. I, all the girls that look in the, they're like, oh, uh, and look at the camera the whole time and they're not into it and making fake noises and like they're worried about how they look. By the end of my scenes, when you're looking at me, my hair is messed up, smeared makeup. I look wrecked. And then that's when, that's why people know I had a good time. You'll never see me look at the camera. Like when the scene's going, they have different cameras going. Cause I won't look and I won't stop for you to tell me what you need. You better figure yeah. out how to get your angles because once you say action, I'm in it for me. One movie they made me do and I yelled at them afterwards. I was so mad by the end of that movie. There was this big European movie, The Story of O, which is huge. So a girl innocent getting like, like this guy taking her to marry her but he wants to take her through this sex school to train her and dominate her and all this stuff so it's a, it's a huge story so she's like raped of her sexual innocence before she could get married to take on this guy and everything so I they made mine the story of Jay and I'm not a sub and I'm not a person that lays there so I had a re like even girls like I had to wear all four or five girls were like with dildos raping me and I just had to take it and be like this and then they tied me up and I'd have to take it and they're filming me so I'm straddled on this TV and rope and people are watching me and everything and then somebody fucks me and all this stuff and I couldn't do anything and I did and then I'd finally get fucked and I couldn't fuck back and I stormed off the set I was like you can go fuck your girl. Yeah. you go fuck yourself and. If not a sequel for that, what's next for it? Just you know yeah. what? Um, I, I actually want to start working on my book. I've just cool. really I've been so busy touring that I haven't shot and everything. Um, but I want to get my own company going um, where I'm going to do a lot of internet stuff, um, which I really can't say anything about now right now. <laughs> so it sucks. We'll find out later. But you will find out within three weeks. Oh, because there will be a already. big announcement and it's going to start a lot of shit. Oh, cool. <laughs> but I'm a shit starter. No, I'm just kidding. No, but um, and so I want to write my book. Like I have publishers who've died for years, but I'm like, God, I just I don't like want to start yet. Thing, yeah, yeah, it's like I don't want to start yet because I'm not done. So, like, why start it when? Yeah, if you don't have a when I and part. Uh, honestly, and like they've been trying for three years, and with what the stories I've had from the three years, I'm like, man, y'all would have missed some good shit. <laughs> That's good. So. But yeah, you'll, you'll hear, you'll hear Good. soon. It'll be looking forward to it. It'll cause a ruckus. Well, thank you, Jesse. Thank you. Thank you for, for talking to us. And thank you. Enjoy your time in Finland. Hope you find the party thing of yours. I, aren't you going to show us where it is? I don't party. Well, I got to teach you. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's an offer I can't refuse. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice.